This week we're going to make our terracotta warrior or terracotta horse look old like we dug it up from the terracotta army site in Xiang, China. Remember that we kind of talked about how terracotta clay is kind of an orangish brown color. It's a type of clay that has that color because it has a lot of iron in it. Iron is a metal and when metal rusts it turns into a orange. So basically, the iron in the terracotta clay, it rusts and turns into orangish brownish color when we put that clay in the kiln. So we're going to try and make that color and make our warriors and horses look old. And that look is also called an aged look. So we're going to give it an aged look. And I'll show you how to do it We're using different kinds of materials. And the first part is gonna feel kind of weird. We're going to first take your paintbrush and just paint clear water all over your warrior. You don't have to make the background wet, that is okay. Once your warrior or horse is wet, you're going to wrinkle it up. Make sure it doesn't rip, so do it gently. But we're going to wrinkle it up. So we're making it look full. And very carefully unwrinkle it. If you rush this part, it could rip your paper. So you've got to make sure you're being very careful. Carefully opening up your paper. Oh, mine ripped a little bit, but I got lucky and it didn't rip the face. Then try and flatten it a little bit. And then now already the paper is starting to get some wrinkles that makes it look a little bit older than it actually is. So first I'm gonna show you how to use liquid watercolor paint. Liquid watercolor paint comes in a jar or a bottle like this. And I put a little bit in here and mixed it with some water so that's not too dark. So if you have liquid watercolor paint, you're going to put your paintbrush in. And then just color your warrior or horse. So you can see that the wrinkles help to make it look kind of like uneven and it looks like it's kind of dug up and old. Another material you could use is your regular watercolor set. So if you're gonna use that, make a puddle, but make sure it's really watery. You can test it out on the empty parts of your paper. This is probably way too dark. So then I'm gonna put a little bit more water, mix it in, test it out. Now it's nice and thin. So now if I paint it in, same thing happens. Just make sure if you're using regular watercolor paint that you mixed enough water into the ink. So if you don't have either kind of paint, another option is to use marker paint. That is using regular marker and then coloring it in kind of, you don't have to really go all the way neat with this technique. Just kind of color it in lightly. Get your water, this is just regular water, and go over it. Then your marker color is going to get blurry, and it'll turn into kind of like a watercolor paint. So you can use whichever kind of technique you want, or you can even mix and match. If you mix and match, it's gonna kind of look even more old because it will be more uneven. So if you wanna try that, you could. So I'm just gonna quick finish painting my warrior and I'll show you how mine looks. Oh, and here's a part that got too dark because I didn't put enough water. If that happens, just get some just water on your paintbrush and try and make your paint a little bit more thin. Remember that the goal is to try to make this guy look old. So if it looks a little bit messy, that's okay. But make sure you go all the way to the edge. And also try not to paint the same parts over and over too many times, because if the paper gets too thin, it could rip. No worries if it does rip, because we could tape it from the back. Okay, so now my warrior looks like he's really, really old. And he's actually made of terracotta clay that got dug up. So we have to let this dry now. Make sure that you're treating this very carefully so that it does not rip. So make sure you let it this dry. I'll do another one with the horse just as a review, but the process is the same. So if you think you got it, you can go ahead and start to 
make your paper wet, wrinkle it up, and try and age it by going over it with a reddish brownish color. So just a review. First, wet the paper inside of your drawing. Just water. And then you're going to wrinkle up your paper very carefully so that you don't rip your paper. Then, again very carefully, unwrap your paper. Make sure it doesn't rip. Flatten it out a little bit. And then take your paintbrush. I think I'll use liquid watercolor for this one. Get the paint. And then gently color it in. If it looks uneven, that's great. Because the more uneven it is, the more old and textured it's going to look. Maybe I'll mix and match this one with some marker paint. Going over it with the markers a little bit. Messy is fine for this part because we're going to make that the marker turn into paint. And if it's uneven, again, that's okay because then it looks nice and old and aged. This technique could be used in a lot of cool stuff. Like, for example, if you're making a treasure map. If you make your paper look aged, it's going to look more real. So whenever you're making something old, old paper, then just know that you can try and use this technique. And another interesting you could try, especially if you're working from your house, is to try and make your own paint. So this is one way to make paint on your own, is getting um, marker and going over it with water. Another way that you could try if you want to is to try and use some tea or coffee. If you make tea or coffee and pour in a little bit in a paint tray and then use that to paint, it could make a nice brownish color as well. So that's something you could try out if you're working from your house. Okay, so again, when you're finished, make sure you let it dry. Treat it very gently so that it doesn't rip. And then please take a picture of your stained and aged terracotta horse or terracotta warrior. Once it's dry next week, we're going to be cutting it out and then putting it on a background and we'll also add some designs to the background. So next week will be the last day. Today just send me a picture of your work in progress through Artsonia or Canvas.